On Bishop Barra's YouTube channel, you will find exclusive content to uplift your faith. The Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Live meetings from Bishop Barra Fonseca. Testimonies, thoughtful advice, prayers, and much more. Do you like it? Then subscribe today and share the videos on your social network. You are listening now to A Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Hello, my friends. May God bless your life and also your home and your family. And He wants to do much more than that. He wants to transfer to you the blessing itself. He wants you to be the blessing. This is the will of God for your life. Now, for us to be the blessing itself, we have to believe in His Word. Did you know? You know, I don't know the problems that you are involved in. I don't know your situation. But one thing I do know, God, God, He has made available to you the power, which is the power of faith, for you to solve your problems, for you to conquer, for you to make your dreams come true. But now, you have to use this faith the right way because you have used your faith for your partner, married him, and now your life is messed up. You use your faith for your girlfriend and the marriage ended. You use your faith in the doctor and so forth. However, they were not able to help you. You have placed your faith in medications, but that has not solved the problem. So now, what if you place that same faith, that same strength, that same energy that you have inside of you in the Word of God? Exchange, my friend. Experiment. Make a test. Put this strength that you have inside of you in the Word of God and you are going to experiment the greatness of God. This is the power of faith. This is what Jesus said. A father came to Jesus and said, for the Lord, for the love of God, my son is possessed, the spirit that is in him, the oppressor, the demon that is in him, it sometimes places him in the fire and in the water. I even asked your disciples to heal him, and no one could do nothing. So then, Jesus answered and said, all things are possible to him who believes. All things are possible to him who believes. And this is the scripture of today. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, if you can believe, a person can believe. However, it depends on them. He is going to make available the belief in what the Lord has promised in His Word. The Word of God, it cannot return void. However, it only works in the life of those who believe. It works in the life of those who place faith in it. And when someone places their faith in the Word of God, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Now, it's not a faith that is emotional. It's not a faith full of emotions. It cannot be a faith that is sensitive. No. It has to be a radical faith. It has to be a faith with no tears, a pure faith, a revolted faith. The person has to be revolted 
with their horrible situations against their problems. The person has to be revolted against everything that they're suffering so that their faith can make happen what God wants to make happen. Because God wants to bless you. God is a father. If you who are a father, you know how to give good gifts to your children. Imagine the Lord Almighty can give greater for those who ask. So those who manifest their faith because those things that come from God God, don't come by chance or freely. You have to use your faith. You have to place your trust in him. You have to place your dependence in him. You have to put your life on the altar and go with all of your strength, my friend. It's all or nothing. At the end of the day, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose since your life is full of failures, full of defeat? You only think of killing yourself. You have a complete destroyed a life full of destruction. However, however, the moment that you take all of that destruction and you turn around, you're going to get up and you're going to remove the dust from yourself. You're going to revolt yourself against this situation. Believing in what? Believing in the word of God that says all things are possible for those who believe. So do you believe that God wants to change your life? Do you believe? So assume this faith. Dr dress yourself with this faith. Drink this. Take possession of this faith and go upon your problems because God is going to change your life. He's going to change it from the moment that you unite your faith with his power. Your faith with his power. Mother. I don't get it! Have you lost sleep at night, crying due to your family falling apart? Mother, has your life been more moments of pain and suffering than moments of joy? It's time to put an end to your sorrow. See what the Bible says. You have seen me tossing and turning through the night. You have collected all my tears and preserved them in your vessel. This Mother's Day will be the day for you to leave these tears of sadness in God's vessel. Please pay close attention to these instructions. Step one, you will take a napkin of your own and use it to dry your tears from your eyes. Step two, then you will bring this napkin to a universal church near you to be placed inside God's vessel that will be in the church. And by faith, God will put an end to this suffering. This Mother's Day, May 10th at 10 a.m. I won't shed a tear for them to see. My name is Sabrina Khan. I was a victim of depression since I was 10 years old. My father and mother separated and my father was living in the next country and I had to make a decision with my life to choose either I live with my father or with my mother. It was really hard for me because I wanted to live with my father. As time goes by, I had this thing always to kill myself. I always wanted to drink poison or do something with myself and I always lock myself in a room or look at TV, don't go outside to have like fun with my family or anything. So it came to a decision that I really made up my mind. So I said, yes, now I'm gonna do it, kill myself. And I took the bottle of pies and had it two months with me. And everywhere I go, the pies with me, even in my clothes, in my wardrobe, everywhere. And I took the bottle of pies and I go to the seawall 
and I drank it. I was in hospital for a week. After a week, I came out from the hospital, but I was still sad, depressed. I still feel lonely, down. Time goes by, my mother, she was very, very sick that we can't take it anymore because she's just on the bed. And I was depressed about it because she was really, really sick and she wasn't like that and I took her all over to Hindu places, Muslim places to seek help. There was a time that we go to the Obiaman and he offered us like $3 million and we give him because I wanted to see my mother free from her sickness. But after we went home, my mother become worse. She become worse than before. So I was home and one day and I put on the TV and there is a program from the Universal Church, testimony that I saw. I was thinking after I finished seeing this testimony to go there, but I was, I, I heard a lot about the church. You know, there's opia church, snake church, they want money because everybody, even myself said, I will never go to that church. My mother was very, very sick that we can't take it anymore. Then I said, I will take her to the church. And when I take her to the church, we met the pastor and they pray for her, they offer prayer for her. And she walked, which is she didn't walk actually for three years. And that first prayer he did on her, she walked. From then, my mother, free from her sickness, she can walk now, she laughs a lot. And even me, I am free from that suicide. I am free from depression. I am free from loneliness. I am not sad anymore. I'm the, I felt like I'm the most happiest person. Today, Sabrina is free from suicidal thoughts, depression, loneliness, sadness. I am free from all these things. I'm doing my chain of prayer. I attend all the meetings, the service. I love church, even I've been the church the whole day. I never had friends before. I have friends in the church and I'm happy. I'm happy more than anything. My advice to you that looking at my testimony, if you are suicidal, lonely, sad like I was going through in my life, come to the church. Don't listen to what people said outside. Believe me, if you come to the church and put it in practice what the pastor said, do a chain of prayer and go to all the service. Believe me, your life will be changed. You will not be the way I was suffering. And what God did for me, He surely would do for you also. We are here for you, and we are here to help you. Seven days a week. You who are facing a financial crisis, you who are facing a health crisis, there are a lot of promises here. And either God is a liar or He's telling the truth. The beginning of the change in your life shall we start right now. But it's up to you right now to make the call 888-332-4141. Because through faith, you can move mountains. All this and more only on the Living Faith Network, where faith is alive.